Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and today we are making a cocktail in celebration of everyone's favorite Merc with the mouth, Deadpool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait for the second movie to come out. I want it to be here already. I was ready for it as soon as I walked out of the first one. The first time. I've watched it at least 18 times in the theater. So how do we do right by the Canadian anti-hero? Well... We make a shot in honor of him that looks like him. Starting off, you're gonna need a shot glass, a cocktail skewer, a cherry tomato, an olive, some fresh lemon, some Bloody Mary salt, some string cheese, and your favorite vodka of choice. This one I particularly love for this shot because it makes it taste like a chimichanga. This is the St. George uh, Green Chili Vodka. You can really use any kind of vodka, but I highly recommend this one because we're kind of going with the chimichanga theme. So to start us out, you're going to want to take your cherry tomato and with a sharp knife, you're going to want to cut out two half circles for the eyes. You don't want to cut all the way through, but you want to cut at least a little deep enough. That way the olive can sit in the recess without falling out. It also gives you the chance to take out some of the seeds if you don't like the tomato seeds. Make sure to leave enough in the middle that the tomato's gonna hold together. It's really hard to do with two cameras. <laughs> Next, take your pitted black olive. You can use Kalamatas if you prefer those. Honestly, they're more my favorite, but the black just works better, so I go with it. And you're gonna to wanna to split that in half. Taking your first half, you're going to want to stick that into the tomato as far down as it's gonna go. You're not looking to get the whole thing into the tomato, just enough until it hits flush that you can come in with your knife and trim off the excess. There you go. Then just mimic the same thing on the other side. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your knife is good and sharp because this is a little delicate work. There we go. And now we have just enough room to put in the eyes. You can completely omit this step if you're not a cheese fan. And there you go. Now we have our Deadpool face. Now we take our skewer and you're going to want to measure whereabouts on the glass you're going to want your Deadpool face to land. We're about halfway down on the skewer. I like to take this on the diagonal so everything sticks in place. Just so. And then we stick that in the glass. <laughs> I got him a little crooked so he looks a little sad. Now that our Deadpool is finished, we're gonna to wanna to rim our shot glass by using just a wheel of lemon. Take your rimmed glass and pop it into the Bloody Mary salt. You're not gonna to want too much, otherwise this is gonna be very, very salty. Now we take our Deadpool, put him into our glass. Now, for the vodka part, take your lemon, we're gonna squeeze that, hopefully not all over myself, <laughs> into our shaker of ice, because we're gonna wanna chill this a little bit. Then take your vodka, pour in about a two ounce shot, and give it a shake. You don't want it too icy cold, just a little cold. And finally, pour into our glass. And there you have it our Deadpool shot. Whew! Gotta wake up. You're gonna find the tomatoes and olives work really, really well with the vodka, because especially tomatoes have compounds in them that only alcohol can actually release, so bonus. Well, thank you so much for joining us. If you make this shot, please take a picture and please send it to me on Twitter. I absolutely love it when you guys make these. 
just makes me so happy. Also, you can join us on our live playthrough of Deadpool the Game on Saturdays. The link will be over here for the playlist.